It's like, well, I can't be held responsible for what Kirk does. He's crazy. It's like, yeah, that's why you can be held responsible. <laughs> I mean, he's doing a good job as a producer if he's getting Kirk to do crazy things. Yeah, well, that's a fight. Getting Kirk Minahan to do crazy things Not is a hard. very fucking easy job. <laughs> Anybody on the planet can get Kirk to be crazy. You got enough fucking crazy lunatics radio running around this fucking <laughs> I do think wherever house. he lands, though, he'll go right back to the top. I feel like, like people are... Do you think no the, one's going to care anymore WFAN about a ticket scam. Will, will I, I could see that. I mean, they WFAN has still been scrambling to try to get their ratings back. And I fired Steve Robinson for like a second. Oh yeah. What? Yeah. D when? Not Kirk, Yesterday. but just Steve. Well, Kirk He's and not I. He's not fired right now. No, Kirk and I had He's made our peace, and then I called um, Steve Robinson, and I was like, I have a question. The advertiser, why did you like? Why did you put that in front of him without any like preface of what you're doing and just set him up? Like, like Kirk, when he read the advertiser, my impression was he didn't know what he was about to read. He mm -hmm. got like it was something negative about us put in front of him, and he he's like, yeah, well, I, he's unpredictable. I didn't know what he was gonna do. It's like no shit. That's why you don't put negative stuff. It's like, will you put negative barstool stuff in front of Kirk live on the air? It's so like, yes. yeah, that's my job. <laughs> I was like, all right, that's it. You're done. So I called Kirk. And like Steve Robbins is fired, told him why. Kirk agrees. Like, yeah, it's not a good answer. Let me talk to him. So Steve, <laughs> it's a terrible answer. Steve, call me well, back. Well, it's a good answer if you're for Kirk, not yeah. For you Barstool. still say today, but, yeah, but, yeah, but right. Kirk yeah. has promised not to sabotage advertising and whatnot. What a hero! So what, yeah, what a guy. What, what a nice. So dude. <laughs> so Steve called me up with his tail between the legs like a mouse, and he's like, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I changed my mind. And then Kirk's like, What do you say? It's like, Well, he did a 180 pretty quick. He's like, Well, he's evolved. <laughs> so, What's your over under uh, like how long before Kirk's gone? Will, will he make it to September first? Quarantine, like when we're with Kirk, it's easier. You know, I really Steve Robinson's one of the all-time assholes. I even remember. You know how long we've done shit with Bill Leva from Milton's? Yeah, he's the one who sent the email. I sent him an email, Bill Leva. It said, subject line, careful. And then I said, I heard you sent the email to Steve Robinson. I know you're friends with Kirk. I'd be what very careful what you do next. And then he called me, and he's like, I'm sorry. I didn't know what he was going to do. I thought we were supposed to be part of this Oh, conference. so like Milton was fucking with you? No. You fucking with us? So, so the, do you know what I'm talking about here, like why I got mad? Vaguely. So Kirk had a live stream. Right. And he read an email that Deirdre sent to all of our clients, being like, hey, we're doing the upfronts. Oh, here's so that email wasn't to Kirk? No. Uh, and, then, and then he like told them how to get onto the live stream. It's or like, like here's like, the code. Yeah. And Kirk's like, hey, you know what would really fuck with Barstool? If all of you guys went and fucked with the live stream. And they didn't. Right. No, they didn't. They caught it before. Got it. And it was an email that Deirdre sent to a client. The client sent it to Steve Robinson. Steve Robinson put it in front of Kirk. Wow. Ah. Knowing Kirk hates us. And that's what Mil Milpins was the client that sent it. Yeah, and, and, and so and he was like freaking Bill's out like, after? Bill's, uh, he's like, can I talk to you? I've known Bill forever. And Bill's just like, I just sent it to Steve to be like, should we join this? He Got took it. it and, and gave it to Kirk. Yeah. And then they were like, and, and now, let me be very clear. Kirk was like, I should not have done that. Yeah, yeah no, he owned up to yeah, it. Yeah, he's like, I know where I, that was wrong. And my, then, so a couple days went by, and then I thought about it. I was like, yeah, but he didn't even, my impression, he didn't even know. He, he just, it's like me. If I'm ranting and you put something, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve He'll Robinson, I'm like, why did you do that? Because this is as like a code. He's like, well, I can't be held responsible for what Kirk does. He's crazy. It's like, yeah, that's why you can be held responsible. <laughs> I mean, he's doing a good job as a producer if he's getting Kirk to do crazy things. Yeah, well, that's a fight. Getting Kirk Minahan to do crazy things Not is a hard. very fucking easy job. <laughs> Anybody on the planet can get Kirk to be crazy. Christ <laughs> almighty. So you, what would you say, over under? So wait a minute, but at this point, you have fired Blind Mike, Steve Robinson, and Kirk Minahan. Steve Robinson and gone twice, back I on think. All of them. Steve Robinson twice. Yeah. Well, 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 well. There's four firings between I, three right, guys, I, and I, none I, of them I, stuck. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I like, I like Kirk. Like as crazy as he yeah. is, he's a nutbag. Like just he's entertaining. He's though. literally off the reservation that he thought like we'd fire K. Marco. Has been here for a decade plus for him. That's crazy. He's crazy. I like him. I think he's entertaining. I truly despise Steve Robinson mm -hmm. and Blind Mike. I think is one of the, the worst woke. humans to ever live. You think he's in the top vote out of all the votes? Is he the number one vote? He's fireable right now. He keeps talking about us. I'm very close to just yeah. firing him. Oh yeah, that's the rule. Yeah, he's been violating doing. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is what I, I mean. I'd like to take they're his all violating your rule. Out of his head and squashed. Well, they're kind of useless though. You got to do something else. 
No, but he plays that game. I just, uh, you know what? You remember when I felt bad for throwing my wallet off his yeah, face? Yeah, it's still mean, stuck that, with you. That may just be on like the repeat now, like with a, <laughs> a, a like a Batman, bam, when it hits his face. <laughs> Kapow! <laughs> Fucking hate him. So things so are going what's well. Your, what's your prediction, though? How long does this last? I don't think he'll ever get fired by us. I, I think, was gonna say, do you think it'll be think, you fire him or he leaves? I, I, I think he'll leave. I think. Yeah. He'll, I listen, Kirk Minahan is destined to be a subscription model. The woe is me, why won't ads sell us when you sit there and you trash the salespeople? Yeah. It's like, what? why would a salesperson, first of all, if you're not trashing them, you're trashing the client occasionally, you're a loose cannon, what, like, it, you can't have both ways. Like, I wish our sales, they have a decent sized podcast, but when you make life hell for everybody. I told them that, I'm like, I don't know, I have like five or six ads every show, every time. Not, well, doesn't well, seem to be what, a problem what, with me. What, if you're, if you do business with Kirk, he's going to run you over at 100%. some point. That's just the nature of right. And Steve Robinson's sitting there with a the stick to do it, and so is Blind Mike. So why would it? They, they have to do, they have this mighty fan base, fanatical fan base. You, they got to extract money from them. Anybody and, else? I mean, it's a double-edged sword of it. Will work. It's a double-edged sword of it, though, because wh why Kirk is Kirk and why he's entertaining and has a fan base that's loyal and why I, I enjoy listening to him is because he's very talented. He, he will say whatever he wants. And he's crazy. And sometimes that will like, end up like this. Certified. You can't, you, can't, you can't find anyone else, an no. actual crazy person Correct. on the air, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, he's awesome. I wish, but there's nobody. I, to and tell if, you, he wasn't, I if he wasn't Kirk crazy, he wouldn't be guys. as awesome. I trust Kirk by far the most out of that yeah. group. Which is yeah. scary. Right. <laughs> Right. I mean, who was telling me like Steve Steve Robinson is a liar, and he goes into like anti barstool chats and just stirs the mm -hmm. pot like those fucking barstool. It's like, yeah, he's yeah. he's the worst. Well, that's a, the thing about Kirk. Is and then like, he does this. Whoa, is me? Well, Kirk knows Whoa, he's crazy me. and will like own up to these things. And then the other guys don't have that crazy excuse. They're just assholes. I think Steve Robinson, to a degree, thinks he's smarter than everybody else, and he's Definitely. just not. He does use yeah. a lot of big words. Yeah, it's like <laughs> no, he, I've noticed that. Like I, he'll say some words sometimes. Like what? The, what was that word? Yeah, he, he's a class A asshole, and so is that blind fuck that he has around him. Do you think if he had dressed differently the first time he came here, would it be? A no, he's he's a class A jerk. <laughs> you know a jerk when you see a jerk. I didn't know. I didn't eat to hear a word out of his mouth. I looked at him, asshole, and he's an asshole. <laughs> Find one person who says he's not an asshole. I don't think he's an asshole. You don't think Steve Robinson's an asshole? I think Steve Robinson thinks Steve Robinson's an asshole. I Steve he, Robinson sits there and says sales doesn't talk to him when he does three conference calls think, a week with him. I think he's, he's like, like we've had this conversation like before. Liar. I think he does. I think he's what he does as producer is. Get Kirk where but, you but know even, he's going to be most entertaining. Even Kirk has done shows where they will just list out all the times he pathologically lied. So Kirk yeah, that's knows true. it. That's true. So what else? Is, I mean, he's Steve lying Robinson about. is a lying scumbag piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he is. <sighs> oh, I mean, he is. <laughs> so again, pick a date. When's it over? Like I said, I think it's on Kirk. I won't. I like Kirk. Right. I hate the two fucking jamokes that ride his co coattails. But I like Kirk. I gave it till September first. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be unfortunate. I really don't want it to happen. That's the thing. Or like right uh, around like election time. Right around I the election, he'll happen. do his subscription and yeah. then crush it. I, I, he does make Barstool Think about how much of a pain in the ass. If he talks all this shit now when he works oh. for Barstool, when he's gone, oh, my God. Well, he currently still says he doesn't, he likes us. That's the craziest part. He's like, I love you guys. He's a lunatic. <laughs> he's a lunatic. Uh, I fucking hate those two fucking hanger honors this guy. <laughs> I really Great do. a scumbag piece of shit. He is. <laughs> oh, man.